Andrew, as Andrew mentioned, I'm CEO of Boundless. My name is Eddie Pickle. We have offices here in Washington, D.C., in New York, and in Victoria, British Columbia. And I want to talk just briefly about uh, what we're working on for modern workflows for managing spatial data. Just in just a little bit of background about Boundless, we make uh, IT, what we call spatial IT products, not GIS, but we're trying to make uh, spatial functions work for, in the modern IT world for building web maps, apps, and more, make them more reliable, open source tools that are more reliable, scalable, etc. We're very happy to be founding members of the Location Tech Working Group because we want to make them business and commercial friendly as well. And our attempt, you know, what we're aiming to do at Boundless is sit in this kind of a sweet spot between um, Esri, which offers a lot of functionality but doesn't scale all that well, um, and um, is uh, doesn't offer a lot of workflow flexibility, and Google, which does scale but you know it doesn't have that kind of customizable uh, capability that you see with Esri. So we're trying to do all that, plus offer the um, flexibility and cost control of open source. So let's turn to looking for this modern workflow for spatial management, spatial data management. I want to give you a little background. Um, if you know anything about uh, the web services world, which is where we're coming from, you know about the Open Geospatial Consortium and those standards that the OGC has been working on and promulgating for years, really are what made the, the world that we live in possible. And we've created a product called um, Open Geo Suite, which is a scalable, um, uh, you know, a way to create maps and apps and serve OGC services through the web. And we support a whole open source stack from geospatial data through the application server to developing user interfaces with open layers and now uh, a desktop tool with QGIS. And that gives you a great Swiss army knife for taking all sorts of services and putting out all sorts of data. And, you know, the best known app that we have on that is the FCC's National Broadband Map, which is uh, essentially a tool for all telecommunications companies to like try and steal an advantage on one another, et cetera. But what about users? Or as I, the, the, the meat of my presentation, um, man does not live by publishing OGC services alone. What about users? What about data? Well, I just, to give you a little bit of background, a few years ago we started a project called Geonode, which was our attempt to move beyond simply publishing services and create a way for users to publish, to publish, collaborate, et cetera, share their data, make it as easy as blogging. And now if you look online, you can find Geonode as an open source project that's out there right now, very, very widely used, especially in the uh, humanitarian space and in, uh, for countries that want to publish their spatial data infrastructure. But that user friendliness, that making it easy for users to contribute data in a social manner didn't solve the problem of managing data, and that's really what we've been working toward. We want to go beyond just seeing and searching for data and enable organizations to create something together. So yesterday we did a workshop on GeoGit, which is a project that we're, A, working with the Location Tech uh, uh, Working Group to license and uh, host as an open source project. And what we want to do is create a way for uh, to manage data that has a more modern um, a series of concepts that we take from the um, source code world and that where there's no single port of failure, there's no single source of truth, there's no obstacle for collaboration. And so right after my uh, this session, Juan Moran is going to talk in depth about what we're doing with GeoGet. But the features we're trying to develop are to enable users now to not just simply collaborate socially, but to actually create organizations or users to create repositories, to create branches, to do remote operations like cloning, push, dip, pulls, to look at geospatial diffs, and to do merging and conflict resolution. And our focus is to um, 